am I? What's going on? Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate it can't now. be. This is not a test. My question is, if they wanted to evacuate, or if they wanted to, uh, cover this up, would it not be better to... Right, okay. Uh, let's put that one. Score that one. Yeah, would it be not be better to not tell everyone to evacuate? So you can cover it up. Easier, better. Why? Why is Carlos and uh, Tyrell just left us, left Jill on her own? I don't get that. So shotgun. Sunshine? You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? He went underground. Barge stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give this city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Oh yeah. Guess I'm not talking you out of this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos. So expect trouble. Oh my god, how many rounds do these guys want to take? Jesus Christ. We're going through here now, aren't we? Ah, we can get in all the places which Carlos couldn't. I hope we don't run into too many hunters. I don't like them hunters. Don't like them one bit. Ooh. We've got our boomstick. Like, should I? Could have, uh, actually, let's go back because there might be some stuff worth picking up if I go back. Just uh, open one or two of the uh, locks. I'll be a bit disappointed if it's just like ammo or something. Hunters, please. Right, let's go. What have we got in here? I want a hip pouch. Mag ammo. Okay, ain't got a magnum yet. Um, 
Nah, that's actually... Just head back. I don't... I think it's just going to be stuff like ammo. Uh, could do with some more infantry space, though. Actually, what's that? Nothing too important. I feel so much more secure with a shotgun, especially when it comes to dealing with tougher <sighs> enemies. Way in front. What's that there? That's where it should be. Is that it? That's all you can pick up from here? Okay. Okay. What are they hiding in these big trucks? I don't like what they could be hiding in there. It's taking all the infected down into the labs, aren't they? I wonder if this goes perhaps down to nest. Like a different. How part is it of no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Got a green herb. Yeah, you would have thought they'd have noticed a gigantic facility beneath the hospital. Save room. Yes, hit pouch. Nice. Alright, what's that? Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where the concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from sub-generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. Right, okay. Is it like a... It's not going to be like a timed thing, is that? I hope not. I don't like being put under that much pressure. What's this? No, can't get that. Okay. We've got a hell of a lot of gunpowder in there. Have we got any? Well, let's store that. Let's take that out. Um... We're okay, we're okay. There's a shed load of gunpowder in there. Ooh. Special warehouse. <laughs> Mihail. What? The f oh, they've left something up there. Ugh, I didn't want to go down here. Warehouse of an eye. Oh. I knew that was going to drop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. These things tank it. Do I just have to avoid these? Because they absolutely tank it. Goodbye, weird steamy thing. You stay down there. It just does not seem to do anything to them. Uh, I wonder if 
flame rounds will do anything. I could try that, couldn't I? There's one fuse. They've really, they've, they've just stockpiled BOWs down here. Wonderful. What a extremely clever idea. Don't like the doggy dogs. Right, um. Where do I need to go? So. Christ, uh. I'll go up here. I guess I go. Go up here now. Oh my! Jesus H Christ! Oh no! A dead end. Now wait. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Any space for anything else? Just nice, nicely walk around. Um. Employee memo, admitted. Male 45, female 32, discarded. Male 60, female 89. Admitted to N2. Males 55, 19, female 51. Discarded female 67. Returned female 8, uninfected. Admitted to N2. Males 25, 22, 15, female 16, 21, 29. Discarded 6 male specimens, 9 female specimens. Disposals trending upwards daily. Preemptive dispose of any over 30 years of age. Nightly transfer observed by nurse. Admissions underground facility temporary halted. stuff in the uh, in the item box here um, mine rounds will I need mine rounds put some mag rounds away until put that away as well until I find uh, some uh, if we combine go lock and load them up so I need three more three more fuses Oh, 
Oh my god, Christ alive. One more, we've got one more to get. Obviously, I can't go this way. Go around that way. Can't go around that way. Where's the third one? Lever, lever. Ah, fuse boxes. No, that's where we want to get to. So I've got one out of, th I've got two out of three so far. Where is the other one? Oh, it's over there. I need to get over there. How do I... Oh, yeah. That's how I'll go about going. <laughs> right here. Green herb, take out. So we need to go back out. There, down. There. Did I run past it? I must have just ran straight past it. Oh no, I just ran up those stairs and went straight in there, didn't I? Um, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't go down just yet. Just check what's going on over here. There's that fuse box. So, do I climb down there? No, I can't climb down there. Okay. gunpowder um, I might switch to let's go with mine rounds I've, I've got most of those mostly mine rounds uh, I don't like being down here no Open your gob then. Open your gob. The grenade launch just makes such a light work of enemies. Uh, sure, it's issues. I've got loads of. I just whacked my mic. <laughs> I've got loads of. Um, loads of health. Stuff, so. I don't have to worry too much about that, do I? Uh, oh, yeah, I can go this way. We got where else going. Right, so I need to deal with this 
thing and this pale headed creature in here. Another quick save. We've got to be nearing. I think we might actually be nearing the end of the game. We haven't seen Nemesis for forever, so I don't know when he's going to turn up again. I know my I've not really organized it. So it's all perfect, but it'll do. For God's sake. I hate these horrible things. Are you actually joking me? Oh, he was going to whack me then. He's just gonna go and whack me then. Oh my god. I love the grenade launcher. A Shit. Russian gun. He got away. What was he doing in here? He was up to no good, Jill. That's what he was doing. Wonder when we're not going to need that anymore. Got loads of gunpowder. Um, two health things is fine. I might be skimping myself a little bit on these. Uh, I can afford to make myself a couple of uh, don't need to make too much more handgun. I, mean, I don't really use a handgun that much. The enemies are too. Too strong, really, for handguns. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC disturbances of sporadic. Commence mission. Observed five RPD officers engaged in a pack, 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university. Diverted pack, including K 9s to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Six, 2300 hours. Successful rendezvous with MV Platoon will make first attempt at dawn. 9th of the 28th. 4 oh, 4.30 hours. Diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. 0800 hours. End of skirmish, 7 survivors. 1800 hours. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Twenty hundred hours. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and female. By a weapon is pursuing the female. Hey. Got eyes on two stars. Who's the Oh yes, that's Brad, isn't it? I don't think I finished reading that properly. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. 
They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. I don't know why they give it hours, like. Oh, I don't imagine in real life, God. Can you imagine a scenario in real life? We'll find the vaccine up ahead. The best thing to do would just be to kill the many to kill the few to save the many even. In the long run. Jill, why aren't you running? Why aren't you running? Come on, Jill. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. Cool. Alright, let's get this done. Run, Jill. Jesus. Okay, we actually look like we're in that. Oh, being decontaminated, how lovely. There's things on the floor in that. I'm gonna have to find an ID card on that. You got anything on you? No? Uh, uh, what? Okay, there's a save room. Nest 2. Uh, they've got two giant laboratories underneath the sea. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objective of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Oh, so this is like a side facility, I guess. Maybe. I could be wrong. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and the weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Okay. So, basic sounds like they are. Uh, um, they were testing weapons and stuff on how to kill them, which I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Um, get some uh, combine that. Sure, we'll find a green, uh, red herb or something somewhere. Oh, of course, we found a green herb. Uh, and still, what? Have I not picked everything up? High-grade gunpowder. Yeah. Um. I might save the high-grade gunpowder actually, because I'm sure we're going to end up finding. A magnum at some point. I wonder if you can get any cool outfits for Jill. Yeah. 
This uh, this back track reminds me slightly of Lumen Dread from uh, the Fourth Survivor. There were some pale heads about high grade gunpowder. You ain't gonna get up, are you, dude? Please don't get up. What? Jesus Christ. How can somewhere that should have ridiculously strong. Um, I thought there was something over here I could pick up, but obviously not. Um, how the hell do they let stuff get out of containment? What's this? To begin vaccine synthesis. Oh. Place the materials in the chamber. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta figure this out. What's this? Essay on vaccine th synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in va vaccine synthesis. Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To most efficiently synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, are required. The antigen produces an immune response by the ad adjuvant increase, uh, increases the effects of such responses leading to increased antibody production. By combining the sums of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. That just sounds cool. You ain't gonna get off, are you? I think these guys have been wondering. Who's killed all these people in here? Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Uh oh. Override key removed. Uh. Should we have done that? Oh. There are tanks full of hunters. Uh. I'm gonna wish I'd, uh, kept. My grenade rounds now. Right, where am I going? Going this way. Business not getting up. Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art med medical tech research for a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America. It was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it, I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. While well, hindsight is 2020, because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up, the world needs to know, but every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy that they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the, the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this, I just need to do my job. I do as I'm told for their sake, but let's be a testament to that I do have a conscience and I've learned my lesson. Well. Oh, was this guy, wasn't it? Oh dear. I guess uh, there were a lot of cases of people not wanting to partake in what Umbrella were doing, but had no choice. Um, how do I oh. Dumb Arstein. A little uh, balcony here. Uh. Are they tyrants? It's not tyrant. No. There better not be tyrants in that. In those. 
Uh, where am I going? I am downstairs. God, it's so pristine and clean. I like that even though we're in a lab again, they've uh, at least... They've not just reused assets from... Um oh, what am I doing? Where am I? How? I can't... Am I missing an ID badge? I must be missing an ID badge. One, is that a body got one on? Has this guy got a... No. What? Where can I get... Have I... Is there something on one of the... Something over here? Have I missed something? One of these got a key card or... Something. Oh, for God's sake. Is that going to be... No, surely not. I just want to double check I've got everything. There's just that in there, apparently, so... I don't know. I must have got everything from there. Or... No, I can't crawl into there. It, it must be this USB flash drive. I'm an idiot. Ah, there we go. Override complete. That thing is going to move. No, it's not. They can't come through those, surely. What have we got there? Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. The test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently some test subjects have developed a new mutation granting them very high regrowth abilities. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure to occur with this, with, within our facility We'll be woefully unprepared, underprepared to defend ourselves. For this, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing the pale heads is be issued to all our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that, in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the threat and act, evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration. Shipping and Processing Manager, Gabrielle Reed. Okay. What's this? What is a culture sample? Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this vaccine. Ah, so magnums. Magnums will be able to take those things down, will they? We can get a magnum from somewhere. <laughs> oh my life! <laughs> Jesus Christ! You sneaky little... Right, see... 
Oh, yeah. What have we got here? They are a bit quicker than the standard effective or slight explosive. Okay. Run, run, run. Always like to make sure. Hold on. Scientist dying message. It's happened. Our worst case scenario, the T-virus has somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard and to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with the adjuvant to enhance its effects and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The, the adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I'd better find a way to get some samples while this, this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please, some, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying events into motion. No, that door needs to stay closed. What we got there? Gunpowder. Uh. Right, I'm gonna go and there's obviously a mag magnum coming up, so I'm just gonna. Uh... Oh. Oh, there's a box there. I need to open it. Acid rounds. Ugh, okay. I need to, to find red herb. Combine. There we go. We've got a lot, a lot of health. This must be what powers it. Powers what? That's it. Oh. First aid spray. I've got loads. So I'm just going to go ahead and heal up to full and just take the first aid spray. Oh, powers the door. Try some big massive batteries, aren't they? No, no. There's hunters over there. Uh, I've, oh, I've got a feeling I'm gonna come back through here. They're gonna be busting. Out. So let's save the explosives. Freaking hell! 